so now uh, we will discuss about the simulation of, uh, I mean, electrical simulation using numerical charge. So as I discussed in my previous video, uh, it's like we need to sweep the voltage and uh, then we will calculate the uh, E-fields and after that we can calculate the Puckel's effect and perturb index as you see here in this slide. So, so we need to see the, um, the electric field parameters and uh, R33 and R13 and extraordinary and ordinary refractive index. So let's go to the numerical chart simulation. So as you see here, like about the about the GUI of numerical theme, I discussed uh, about a lot in my previous videos. So you see, you see, we have a material section, we have a geometry section, simulation region, and chart. We will discuss about the theme in my next video. So if I uh, like, if I open the material and geometry, you see that. So this is uh, uh, our quartz. I mean lithium niobate handle. So we have two ground, as you see here, and we have one signal here, and this is our lithium niobate waveguide, and this is a SiO2 substrate. So as you see here, if I click the SiO2, you see the under material also selected SiO2, lithium niobate. You see our lithium niobate uh, is XY cut, and uh, our signal is uh, gold and ground and uh, also, we have two ground, left ground and right ground, which is, which is gold. And also, uh, the background material is U15. So regarding to the, I mean, uh, the, the detail of the, the geometry, so for instance, lithium niobate, if I select the lithium niobate and go to the edit object, you see that the X span and, and the Z span, and the material, so the material is lithium niobate semiconductor XY cut. So, and about the uh, uh, contact, so about the lithium niobate waveguide, waveguide also, this is a geometry that we designed before, so, and the material. <coughs> so, this is the, uh, our 3D structure, you see that, uh, can rotate, you can, uh, you know, see a different view, like this is a, uh, I mean, X5 view, YZ view, I mean, this is an X Z view, and this is a YZ view, so I, I will select the X Z view. So, about the material, so for instance, uh, because our material is lithium niobate semiconductor, X, Y, cut, if I go to the, uh, I mean, electrical, electric and thermal, and go to the lithium niobate, you can see in the lithium niobate X, Y, cut, I mean, here, you see that the electric, electro, electronics property, so it's uh, uh, diagonal, and um, this is the extraordinary, and this is a, ordinary, uh, I mean, permittivity. So we can, we can like select the work function and the, the EC valley. So these are the parameters that we can see for the lithium niobate. So you can also see the, the mobility and Also, you can see an uh, insulator. Uh, so these are the parameters for lithium niobate insulator. So these are parameters for lithium niobate semiconductor XY cut and Z cut. I mean, if you use a different configuration, so you can select a different material from the library. Okay, so now our geometry and uh, material is clear. So about the simulation region, if I select the simulation region, so you see that our simulation is 2D y normal. 
and uh, so the boundary all of the boundary are closed uh, regarding to the you know how we can select the boundary uh, you know I, I discussed about my pr in my previous videos so uh, so the background material is UV 15 and if you go to the uh, like uh, UV 15 uh, you see that uh, uh, the permittivity is 3 okay so uh, let's select the simulation region and see yeah this is the uh, geometry for X span and for Z span uh, the reason that we, we select uh, uh, this value you can do you can do a different test and you can do some converging test and see the results and um, so about the charge if I select the charge in the charge uh, so we will select the simulation region and uh, um, so because we don't have any like uh, uh, coupling from like to like multi quantum or something like that we will select is a thermal or we don't have a thermal parts uh, here like we don't need a specific uh, parameter but uh, but regarding you know uh, the setting for instance the advanced setting why we use a solver type as gum gamma or or uh, what does it mean like multi multi threading global iteration limit how these are very important when we want to some converging so we have a knowledge base article in our website so please uh, uh, look at the website for more information and uh, how about the boundary because we have a tree contact so we have a ground so this is a left ground so you see like uh, the geometry you can select the solid and the solid you see the ground uh, electrode left that we defined in the geometry side and there is the voltage is zero for the we, we will insert the zero voltage for the ground for both left and right ground but for signal uh, like we can change the voltage from 0 to 5 with S to 5 or 0.5 uh, so that's the <coughs> that's the thing that we can do it so also we have a monitors here okay so let's do the simulation for the simulation if you go to the chart and then we select the run the simulation so for different voltage uh, actually the simulation will be run so uh, okay this now the simulation is finished so if you select the charge you see that you have a different uh, name here like electrostatic charge band structure integrated uh, so signal ground L so for ground L you see that we have a different parameters for like for electrostatic you see that we have E V area id and for chart j and jp3 so if i select the electrostatic and right click and then select the visual visualize and then select the new feature you see that this is the e so i can remove uh, like the the other parameters just we can focus on the e side so and the e this is the e and the if I like uh, lock the color bar here I like the color bar here and now change the voltage you see that how the E field is distributed through the uh, lithium naivet wavelet so here is our lithium naivet wavelet okay so you see that how the E field distributed through a lithium naivet so by increasing the voltage you see in a better way but but we want to know which component has the most contribution so if I select uh, like uh, for instance the absolute value and uh, so if I select uh, like X EX you see that 
this is the EX, so it means that most contribution of like uh, the E is related to EX. If I select Y, you see that the EY is zero. And if I select Z, you see like the, the amount of like E is in the, in the lithium naivet, I mean in this area, is not much. So for in the lithium naivet, so the the value of x is much larger than than ez. So if I go to my my slide, you see that because ey is equal to zero and ex is much larger than ez, so we can use uh, these parameters <coughs> to calculate the perturbed index. So now we can go to the uh, <coughs> numerical charge so <coughs> if I open the script so let's do some calculation so based on the uh, the presentation so we need NE and NO NE extraordinary and ordinary refractive index R33 and R13 and also we have EX so let's do the simulation so you see so this is our epsilon O, this is an ordinary, extraordinary, and this is a R13 and R33. So then uh, we use the switch to layout and then run the simulation. So you see that we use a, uh, we use a electrostatic data to, to as a variable of electro, but the, but uh, uh, actually, electrostatic includes the EV area ID and uh, so different parameters. If I <coughs> if I want to use a like E, I can say that okay, pinch electro dot E to E. I I will assign the pinch electro dot E. Why we use a pinch? Because uh, E, uh, like you see, if we have a different parameter in the electrostatic. So for this reason, we use electro.e. So for, for the V signal also, we can say electro.v. So this is E and this is a voltage. So then we will create a variable at dn and ne all for like to calculate, to, to assign the parameters of the uh, perturb index to these values variable so then here we have a loop and uh, from like four uh, uh, because uh, we change the voltage from zero to five volt and we have 11 step and for each step we need to calculate the uh, the spatial uh, index data and, and Puckel's effect so I said uh, for for the uh, for the a spatial index data, I mean uh, this part. So we have NE square, NO square, and NO OE square. So to, to create this matrix, so this is the, uh, this line create that matrix. You see that the epsilon E uh, times ones and uh, epsilon O and epsilon O. You see that. Okay. About the Puckel's effect, uh, just we need. R33, R13, and R13, like this. And um, R33EX, R13EX, R13EX. So, you see, like R33EX, R13EX, and R13EX. Then here we, uh, like, uh, Combine the the we will create the NEO. I mean total uh, effective index. So now we create this matrix. So I mean the total of effective index is this matrix inverse of this matrix plus inverse of this plus this matrix and and all of them will be inversed. So like this we have. Uh, we 
have these parameters here okay so now uh, because we need to just calculate the perturb index so we will uh, we will have this parameter and this is the uh, the amount of like uh, extraordinary epsilon without perturbation so and this by this way we can calculate the perturb index and then we will uh, save the uh, the total index and perturb index to the to the parameter so the reason that uh, like uh, we can we can uh, if you look at the uh, the electrostatic so we don't have n e o i mean total index and and perturb index for this reason by this way we can add this attribute to to the plot and then we can visualize the electrode so let's run the simulation So we are waiting to for the simulation. Okay, so you see the result. So uh, if I look at the like just uh, index perturb or, or like to calculate the perturb index, and uh, so we can select the DM. And then, like we can change the, like we can lock the color bar. You see, if we change the, the voltage, you see how, the the index. The perturbation index, the value of perturbation index changes with voltage. It's, it's very clear. So by increasing the voltage, you see that, the value of the perturb index changes so we will we will uh, use the this value in the in the numerical thing 